In this video, we will state and explain the Minkowski Veil theorem for convex polyhedra. Basically, the theorem asserts that any feasible set of a linear program can be described equivalently by its extreme points and a finite set of directions. Let's visualize the theorem on a figure. In this example, we have three extreme points, which are the red dots, and two extreme directions, which are the green arrows. The feasible set is then all the points in between the extreme points and all the points that can be obtained by starting at one of the points in between the extreme points and by then following a path that corresponds to following a certain combination of the green arrows. Let's get to a more formal version of the theorem. First, recall that a feasible set P of a linear program is a set of points X in Rn such that Ax is at least B, where A is an M by N matrix and B is a vector of dimension M. Second, we need to define what an extreme point is. An extreme point of P is a point that intuitively is not in between any two other points in P. More formally, we say that X is an extreme point of P if it belongs to P and if for any two other points Y and Z of P, if x is in between y and z, meaning x is equal to lambda y plus 1 minus lambda z for some lambda in 0, 1, then either y is equal to x or z is equal to x. Third, we need to define what a direction of a polyhedron is. A direction u of the polyhedron is such that whenever I take any point x in the polyhedron, then x plus alpha u is also in p for any non-negative value of alpha. Note that it is clear that if u and v are directions of the polyhedron, then so is u plus v. I invite you to verify this formally. Similarly, you can see that if u is a direction, then so is alpha u for any non-negative value alpha. In fact, the set of directions of the polyhedron forms a so-called cone. Fourth and finally, what is meant when we say that the extreme points and directions are equivalent representations of the polyhedron P is that any point x in the polyhedron P can be written as a convex combination of the extreme points plus a linear non-negative combination of the directions. In other words, there is a finite set D of directions such that for any x in P, there are non-negative extreme point weights, lambda for E an extreme point of P, that add up to 1, i.e. sum of the lambda E is equal to 1, and non-negative direction weights, mu D for D in D, such that we can write x equals to the sum over e of the lambda e e plus the sum over the d's of mu d d. Equivalently, in Minkowski's notations, we have p equals to the convex hull of the extreme points of p plus the cone of d, i.e. any point in p is a sum of an element of the convex hull of extreme points of P and an element of the cone spanned by the directions in D. Maximizing a linear objective function using such a decomposition is then straightforward. Say the linear objective function is f of x equals to c transpose x. If c transpose d is positive for some value d in D, then the linear program is unbounded. The objective function can be arbitrarily large for feasible solutions. Otherwise, the, the maximum of the linear program is the extreme point E for which f of E is maximal, i.e. the maximum for x in P of f of x is equal to the maximum over all extreme points of P of f of E. Unfortunately, though, in general, this is the wrong approach to linear programming mostly because the set of extreme points of P is usually exponentially large, which means that this approach will be extremely slow. Having said that, this reinterpretation may still be extremely useful, at least conceptually, but also in practice, for instance, using the so-called Danzig-Wolf decomposition combined with, for instance, column generation. But this will have to be for another time.